and welcome to a day in life. Yeah, bro. How's your phone channel? Today's now March 15th. It is pretty late at night right now. I know it's a new day, but it's pretty late. The curtain is three way, three quarters of the way open. So is really the window itself. It's they got this much more to open, but it is open right now. And I don't know why I'm doing a vlog so late. I was going to start this room like much much earlier. And I was like, okay, let's get this done. And I had to do re retake a couple times because a cat bumped into my tripod just as I was recording. I was like, come on, cat. I'm kind of busy right now. So, and then she wanted to be out the door. No, second in, uh, intake, or the second outtake. Or, I started a vlog anyway. I don't know. Uh, between gaming too much, the one uh, night... Um, to tinker on the computer and going on to some other chat site for a little longer. Waking up around like one or two in the afternoon. Doing about didn't doing much of this, this, and that. And oh, uh, besides that, I, I know I heard some loud wind around noon, and I had to shut my window. You know, at more than a quarter way, like three quarters of the way down. I'd like had the window open like that just so much, and it was so windy. I guess it got so windy that I started knocking over trees, uh, start lifting up shingles from people's houses. Um, there was there's various places. I took a took a walk around like, a couple hours, and um, when I went through the uh, one path area there, there was a tree down there, and then there's couple trees down in the, a, on the uh, railroad tracks uh, around the corner somebody's uh, pine tree it's a long skinny pine tree that's uprooted, uprooted. Um, just down the street from that there's another tree that's uprooted uh, there's, there's giant branches falling out of the tree uh, in the backyard uh, people's uh, patio tables they have in the backyard it getting thrown up in the air and they're, they're done if they're not if they're not plastic and they're glass, they're done. So, I mean, people's uh, bins on the side of the houses, uh, recycling bins and stuff like that, those are blowing around and stuff like that, too. else there um well as you could tell you guys could know that it's recycling and uh, garbage day today and hopefully they pick up the recycling a lot sooner because it was I got like a window was picking up yesterday night and it was gotten really bad in the morning and it got really 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 bad between noon and afternoon The wind got so bad that not not only mine, I mean not only the neighbors, but my recycling bin went to this one side lot, empty lot, went across that field to another street, down the street a little bit, and through the park on the other side of the park. The reason why I know that it's my recycling bin is because I have certain markings on mine. And the neighbor has certain markings on his. There's no number on there. I'd like to say, um, you know, for that address. So it's gonna affirm my nose or something. But I found my my bin like, it was pretty far. It was like a uh, you know, um, couple of buildings over to that lot there. The wind blew it over there, and and somebody said, oh, I seen your bin. It was in the in the the, in the front of that field. I go to check it out. And I see the bin there, but I had to go and uh, go and get my meds you now, medication stuff. Well, I'm a little bit slacking on that. And I come back around, and I don't see it. And they just said, "Oh, it was blown across that field." So I went across the field. Um, one guy was looking at his uh, top of his roof. The shingles were all popping off. And each guy, his hands on his things, like shaking his head. I said, "Hey, did you see a?" A tall blue bin uh, around here, though. 
He goes, yeah, last time I seen it was at the front of the uh, park gate. I said, oh, okay. So I go look around right there and somebody's driving with some of that. See this long, this, this tall skinny pine tree already uprooted. And I think it's kind of leaning on wires and stuff. That's probably one reason why we had a power failure. So, um, go take a look around. So I go take a look in the park field. I see a gray bin, a green bin, and what, what probably was a bin, but maybe a plant or something like that. The bottom's all busted off. So I took a look, and I see a blue bin way across the park to my right. And then to my left, I see another bluish, a uh, blue bin. Now, I walked across that park. What do you know? That tall bin is mine. And the one that's not too far from about 20, 25 feet away from that was my neighbor's bin because um, there's a little bit of a gray spray, spray paint in there because it was used for, I don't, I don't know. I really don't know why there's some gray spray paint in there. But, um, I knew there was neighbors anyway. So, um, so take those bins. I take some, a couple other bins up to somebody's lawn. There, you know, I figured it might be theirs. I don't know. There was a, yeah, there was a black one. There was a green one. There was a red one. Then there was a busted one. I just took it and put it on, you know, somebody's front lawn on that street to just, so anybody's like, oh, hey, there's my bin. Oh, there's my bin. Because I don't know if that person's bin is, is at that building there or it could be the next building or down the street. Hell, mine was like one street away and down the street and not in the parking lot, but even on the other side of the parking lot. And it's like, I'm not parking lot, I mean park. And I'm like, this is really weird. And when was that actually that bad? Um... There's a couple places on the street that has those digital um, digital antennas on top of the roof. They're gone. A couple of different places, they're busted off. They, the wind was so bad that they got busted off. So, I spent a couple hours walking around looking for my bin and then she couldn't see the neighbor's bin. I'm surprised the garbage bins are around and lids that are for this building. And I don't that's that's really about my day right there. It's just walking around looking for damn bins. I mean this is not the this is not um first time. I think it was around before Christmas or after Christmas or something like that. I can't really remember. But, um, I was chasing bins, like, all the way down the street. Bins, everybody, like, like six or seven bins there. And there's, like, this, this clear, uh, gray bin, a recycling bin, that when it got to the end of the street and got to where that guardrail is, it, like, just smashed across, onto that, because it was so cold and so much wind force. Now over the railing I found one of the bins and then I found like this whole bunch of cans and recycling stuff down there and I was just going there to recycle or get the recycling bins. Mine went over that railing. The other one was in somebody else's side yard I think to the left, somebody's side yard. And there was like trash can down there. I was looking for a lid. I, we lost the lid someplace. I looked everywhere. I looked over that railing and don't see anything. So, I don't know what happened to that lid. So now it's 6 p.m. at night. Wonderful, wonderful time. So it's just me being, a, you know, well, I, did, I didn't, well, I did have lots of sleep. Well, kind of, it is. Yes, I did. For, yeah. Sleep around four. Woke up around noon just after noon, maybe one like one or two. 
went for that walk to the thing. I'll say no more than an hour and that. And then like two or three hours looking for bins and stuff. And then here I am doing video log for you guys. I got to get it done. Um, I mean, I might be up at like maybe 10 or 11 tonight. Uh, tonight was supposed to be movie night and I'm not too sure. Uh, the wind is, it seems like it's calmed down a lot. Once in a while, the you, you, you camera might pick up the wind coming through the screen. But I don't know, it, I don't know why there's a lot of winds, and I know that it's cooled down a little bit too. It's gotten a little colder than, it was like, um, plus seven, I think, plus seven, plus ten degrees. And by tonight, it's like, it feels like minus five, so it's a pretty big temperature drop. Not too sure what else I was going to say on that. Not too sure what I was going to say on that at all. Down trees, limbs breaking. Oh! I might even just say that for the... I'll just tell you guys anyway. That just a little bit of time. Um, there's one big path that's like goes across. Uh, like, I got down one street to this path. And across the uh, this uh, like woods area. Over tracks, you know. Over some other woods area and you know, stuff like that. To get to the grocery store anyway. Doesn't really take that long. When I was out for a walk, it was so windy, I almost lose my hat. The hoodie was covering my head most of the time. And I heard a, a creak snap. I didn't think nothing of it. I kind of hit the dirt enough to get my sleeve dirty and my knee dirty. And I heard a creak snap. And over my head, I heard a whoosh tree branch broke off from a tree like it's not too far up it's uh, up enough and the branch itself was probably about that thick that's still enough to probably give me a good gash in my head or knock me out the way the winds were it was pretty bad so I'm like like wow I, it, it was probably it was just about that time that I was about to trip over rock anyway too so if I was listening around me and I would have tripping trip over rock but I'm at the end of this video now, so you guys do like this video, please do hit the like button. Please subscribe to me. Make sure you know channel my bed if you have been for me. Please do tell your friends and family about me. Thank you for this video. Tell you guys watched it. Hope you all have a nice day, a nice night. And remember, it's better to be Aboriginal than original.